Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for watching Raz and Radke. On replay. On Instagram. YouTube. And Facebook. Hashtag let us know you're watching on replay. Replay isn't a thing. You said it like it's, it's a thing. Well, I mean, they're not watching live. They're watching it on replay. And they always, they always put hashtag replay, which is really, really nice. And they leave comments and then I comment back to them and I'm like, hey, North Dakota, how you doing? And things like that. It's really good. Um, so even if you can't watch it on live, you can watch it on replay. And we thank you so much. Um, good morning for all of those who are jumping on this morning. Uh, Barb is here. I am sweating like I stole something, man. Barb is here and Jordan is here from Minneapolis and Rosenberg, Texas in Independence, Missouri is here. Are y'all enjoying this? Are y'all enjoying this world? pretty outside scenery that <clears throat> Melissa's done so well with the plants and the flowers and the pool and... Um, David, I have not you, done well. I'd literally go to Lowe's and then if it has to be replanted, I don't get it. Oh. If it has to be put in a different planter, I'm like, eh, eh, can't I did do like that. I those little things this year, the little drop-in. Yeah, you, you, it has to say on the plant, can live in this container. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> and if it can live in that container, then I'm just dropping it in a pretty one and calling it a day. But we need you to know that this beautiful outdoor scenery, what, maybe might last another week Yeah, or, we're or not, so. Yeah, we're not long for this world. Yeah, it's already uh, starting to... I will, I, will go, I will go down in flames. But I will not go down with a sweat mustache. I will not have it. Oh my God. And if I had to start doing that, no. Alabama, Kentucky. <clears throat> Bowling Green, Kentucky. Good morning, Tiffany. And Dawn is here. And Michelle Alexander. Hi, the Melissa. First time in Houston. six weeks. <gasps> wow. Did we get put on probation? Did we do something that she had to take six weeks off? What are you talking about? I mean, like, did we offend her? Did we, I mean. She just said she's back to work in six weeks. Oh, I thought she was back here. So her first <laughs> time back to work in six weeks. And she's watching this. That is awesome. That maybe, is hilarious. Maybe that's why you were off Maybe that's weeks. why you were off for six weeks. Maybe your entire office was still working, but they didn't have you there. And now you're back after six weeks and you're like, I'll be, I'll be there at that meeting in a minute. <laughs> Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, I'm thinking about breaking COVID and heading your way. I'm sick of my area. I feel you. Okay, so here's the deal. We had people over. We did. Okay? We had people over. It wasn't a big gap. No, it wasn't over 10. Yeah. It wasn't over 10. In fact, it was less. It was There were six of us. And we did it. We invited two couples over. And, and we, we sat around my table. I didn't say it was an orgy, David. Let me get it out for Pete's sake. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, anyway, we had six people over and we sat around our dinner table and we had dinner together. And I'm not going to lie. You can get mad at us all you want, okay? This is my show. Get mad if you want, but it's my business. And I couldn't take it. I was, I was wilting up like a flower, okay? Like my granny, that one time that she was laying in my bed in my guest bedroom was laying in bed with my mom and they were sharing a bed together and I ran in and I jumped on the bed to like get them you know and my mother said Melissa Page get off of me and my granny said why did you do that I was just laying here like a little squirrel that's how I was I was shriveling up and dying y'all I had to so I invited two couples over and they came over and I just don't regret it I just don't I can't not live my life y'all so are y'all mad? See, no, somebody's daughter had a sleepover with her best friend. Ah, oh. yeah. Somebody said you wore David down. <laughs> if, the, if the beaches are, yeah, if the beaches are opening and Lori Stewart says we ate out, that was the thing. So that's will, why David let us. I was gonna say that's why I wore down because at least here in Texas, twenty five percent capacity at restaurants. That's so. why David. Let, I'm telling y'all, David is such a rule follower, man. He is the AG, Attorney General, reporting for duty. Um, and all that. But I said, David, they are letting people go to Del Rio and eat at six, no more than six at a table. So why can't I have six at my table? So that's what we did. Um, your neighbors in Louisiana are still punished till May 15th. I'm sorry. The, did she, she said, said, pun she said, she, the, said she said punished and there's about, then she pushed. said, I think it was pushed to the 15th. Punished, I think she said. And then she said, the Bible says, love your neighbors. Which, <laughs> I don't ever remember reading that, but, um, <laughs> Hello from Indiana. Love you guys. My daughter had a sleepover and we went to an ice house with friends and it was amazing. I bet they iced it up. Her husband lets her do stuff like that. <laughs> Why won't you let
let me, David. I've got to live my life. You can do whatever. I may live it apart from you if you don't let me out of here. You can do whatever is. Uh, see, that's see, Anthony, Anthony, and, and Amanda are like. We went to our friend's house and laid out by the pool. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You know what? Come hell or high water, I'm having friends over tonight. Well, maybe not tonight, but definitely later on in the next couple of weeks. Right, David? <laughs> hey, I'm wearing my new shirt. Thanks to Aaron Munson. Thanks to Facebook for not fixing your camera problems. Yeah, y'all can't. Um, Y'all can't read it because it's backwards to y'all, but it's not to me and I can read it. And thank you, Carla said that, that at the exact same time. So, um, nice. I got the best cameo birthday message from you. Who, who is he? Okay, Chastity, listen to me. I have wondered <laughs> if you were ever gonna follow me again after that cameo message. Because wasn't that the one where I was sitting in the dentist's up the parking lot at the dentist while Remy was there? Chastity, if it's the one I'm thinking of, I was like, I just went off the reservation on that one. I did. I may have said some really inappropriate things. I think I referred to my cleavage at one time. So the fact that you are still, you are, that you are still following me after that birthday message. But that's the thing. I have literally today, This y'all are saying, oh, I like your hair, Melissa. I'm doing my hair. I'm doing my makeup today because I have so many freaking cameos to do today. It's, been it's gonna for... take me like almost an entire afternoon, not entire afternoon, but it's gonna take me a very long time today to do all these cameo messages. Because mother, I think all of them are- They're for all Mother's for Mother's Day. Day. People are like sending me messages like, um, can you please, can you please send my mother a birthday, a Mother's Day shout out, and also tell her that, and then they'll, and then they'll tell me something like they're arguing about. <laughs> and you tell her that seriously, I brought her pan back over to the house. I don't have. I don't pan. have her pan anymore. I mean, y'all, if you have a family dispute and you want me to send a cameo to somebody, please know I'm here for that. I am here for that in the be the best way. If you if you aren't familiar with Cameo, there is an app. I think people prefer the website a little bit better, but um, you can Google Cameo on uh, in on the web or on the App Store and find more out. But so here's what my shirt says since it's backwards and y'all can't read so it. So wait, so Facebook, we've been telling them, so a lot of people, they're kind of over it now, but a lot of people are like, y'all are sitting on the wrong side. We always sit this we way. We always sit this way. But I flip the camera, so if we hold anything up, you can read it. Well, last week, Facebook went crazy. I Did still... you say that in your meeting the other day? Yeah, well, I'm with the marketing people. They don't have oh. a clue what's going on, technical side. Okay, that's rude. Um, but so they're, Facebook's all messed up. Sorry. Sharon Miller just said, you told me that my nose replacement looked beautiful and I'm still watching you. I'm telling you guys, if I do a cameo <laughs> or autographs for you, there's no telling what I'll say. Jeez. Uh, so anyway, so my my phone, I still can't go live. Melissa's at least. Yes, can you can, baby. Go up. You can go live. You can go uh, live for like. Watch it. Twelve and a half minutes, baby. Go um. So, <laughs> so, so anyway, but last week when we were trying to reverse Melissa's camera, it was real distorted. Uh, this morning, there's like a green. Is it? Is that sepia? Is it? It's not sepia. But it's, it's just some green, kind of green tone. It's like tone. a green filter. Uh, if we adjust it, so they'll, they're can we get back to my shirt now? Yeah. That was a long way around that. Sorry, they're <laughs> a struggling company. They'll get it figured out. Yeah, yeah, they will, and we'll help them. Facebook, we're here for you. Um, I know. Amy said. Amy Chin says, "God, my kids left the room." Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Know I can't. I can't not be. Um, loved you on Megan Kelly. Look at you, Billy, pulling out the old news. What? Okay. Anyway, here it says, "Not slim." Kind of shady. And Aaron Munson sent this to me. Y'all remember I opened it up on Friday and I had a fit. Someone also sent me a, ooh, David, bumper sticker for my car, which totally made my day. So y'all are rocking me, rocking my world, not slim, kind of shady. Could be offensive, <laughs> but it's not. Um, if, okay. you, if you have something you want Melissa to open or if you want uh, her to try something on what did we decide on it's you said it's not testy Tuesday it's really not testy Tuesday test that's Tuesday. disgusting test test Tuesday I mean test thir it's Thursday first of all just call it Thursday um, whatever we think of Thursday so anyway, was that? last week <coughs> we uh, tried on a sock slider where we didn't have to bend mm -hmm. over which was really nice so uh, on Friday's live I put the address though 1705 Fagan, you'll see there. So. Rena is from Illinois, and she just told me we should have a whole day where we just say funny rules. 
funny rules for the state, for the state that you're living in. Rena said a car full of people can ride to the lake together, but only two in a boat at a time. <laughs> That I don't know why, but sense. that is hilarious to me. It makes no sense. <laughs> that the government would sit around and be like, what do we tell people that want to go boating? Only two in a boat at a time. Right, but how are they going to get there? I don't care how many are in the car. But when they're in that boat, God only knows what might happen. Um, I, I actually put out a, uh, a um, what am I trying to say? I got my mind went somewhere else. I, put, I had an Instagram post this weekend to Governor Abbott, to oh. our governor. To the love of God, would he please open the nail salons? Any of the salons, all the salons. Um, would he please open them? And then someone who knows Governor Abbott actually messaged me and said, would you like me to send this directly to him? Did she really? <clears throat> Might have been a he. You don't know. I know who and I said, uh, you know, I gotta do. Like I do. I don't know if that's the first taste our governor should have of me, but I feel like it's appropriate. So I feel like in some of the security briefings for the state, your name has probably been brought up. You think so? Yeah. Somebody just said they they really miss rock and remonade. And that is, we don't know what that that is our a live that our kids would do in the afternoons around three o'clock and our kids would go live. And it just so happened that last week Remy tried out for cheerleader this past weekend and she had Zoom calls every single day with the, the cheer coach in practices and she had um, the uh, girl come over to the house that was kind of like training her. And so the, our week was very, very busy with that. Um, oh, Debbie Davis, I know you want to cut, I know you want to cut hair and I just feel so so much for the, these salon owners and workers who, that's your livelihood, and I feel for you so much. Um, but anyway, so sorry that Rock and Remonade didn't happen last week. Hopefully, it will happen this week. But if it was between, like, school and Zoom calls and all that kind of stuff, we, we always went with that. Um, there, and, uh, by the <laughs> way, there were several I saw online asking, how did Remy's cheer turn out? Remy, it, she made it. She made cheer again. I can't believe they want her back. That's a shocker. I mean, I think that for that those was... of you that don't know, uh, two weeks two weeks before the tryout last year, Remy had. I mean, when she was real little, she was absolutely horrible in like a tumbling class or something. But Remy has never taken dance; she's never done anything. And like two weeks before last year, she went, "Hmm, I think I want to try out." And she worked real. She busted her tail for two weeks, and she ended up ended up making it. Um, <clears throat> and obviously, she did a lot of cheering with that, but. She didn't really. No, she's really cute, and she can talk really, really loud. Mm. And she smiles all the time. And she smiles all the time, and she's super chipper. She's a team player, but she's not the best at dancing. In fact, I was like, "Oh, is that your dance?" And she's like, "You know what? You come out here." So, um, but anyway, uh, she, Remy will she, be she, quick she, to tell you, I'm a basketball player first. I enjoy mm -hmm. cross country and track and. She was bummed she didn't get to play soccer this year. She wants yeah. to play volleyball in high school. I mean, she's... She likes sports a little bit better than, than cheer, even though cheer is definitely... A sport. A sport, and she's sore all the time. Um, but she she's going to do it one more year for middle school. Um, so, yay for Remy. Uh, Kimberly Woolsey says, yes, I have a golden retriever. That was Nashville, Tennessee. There he is. Nash most days, Nashville, Tennessee, when he's trying to eat something off the counter. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, hey, guys, we want to know how your uh, weekend was. How was your weekend? Tell us what you did. I told y'all we had friends over. We ain't we ain't sad about it. What else do we do? Uh, <coughs> ooh, we saw a good, if you like action movies, we saw a good action movie. Are you going to do a streamer this week like you did last week? Oh, wait a second. Get up out of my business. My, my business. business. My business. Get up out my business. My business. Get up out of it, David. Okay, I'll do a streamer when God tells me to do a streamer, not when you tell me to do a streamer. When he say, thus saith Melissa, tell him about extinction, Melissa. Thus saith Melissa, tell him about extinction. David's poor allergies, somebody said. I know, I know. Um... We did see the new... Somebody just uh, said, Melissa, you should have a, a, a Cosmo. You're going to be sadly disappointed. I don't drink. Everybody is always so shocked when I tell them that. I think because they think, dang, Melissa would be a fun drunk. I think, <laughs> and I would. I think they would be uh, surprised if I didn't drink because... And you do drink. Because you drink a healthy amount. No, I don't. Uh, you, well, he does drink, but he drinks like, you know, like rich man drink like 
when he goes to a steakhouse. I don't drink. I, I know that's disappointing to some of y'all. And it's not because I don't want to. God knows I do. I really want to. I do. I love the glasses that they come in. I love the fun colors and anything that has an umbrella. But I just can't stand the taste of it. I you cannot. Love, you love martinis. What's a martini? You know, where it looks like you got a martini, That's right. but it's But really, not. it's chocolate milk. <laughs> um, so, yes. Oh, no, Terry. I am so oh. sick with COVID. Oh, no, Terry. Oh, my gosh. I hope you're okay. Um, I was going to make a joke and just cheer you up, but then I realized it would probably offend you. Um, hold on, Terry. What have I got? What, what COVID jokes come to mind? Maybe not. There's maybe not any. Not, There's yeah. not any. It seems inappropriate. Terry, we love you. We're thinking of you. Hey, um, and let me, let me tell you this. We make a point not to talk much about what's going on with COVID. I mean, unless it's the lighter side, if you will. Uh, we know because there's a, a, definitely a super lighter side of COVID. No, but you like you're joking about the rules and, and uh -huh. stuff like and stuff like that. But we realize it's a really serious time, and especially for those that have been been hit by COVID personally, uh, it's tough. But that's one of the reasons why we have continued to do this. Uh, we started this months before all this happened, but uh, just to try to get your mind off all the craziness and all that kind of good stuff. So please don't ever take any of that as that we we don't care or we're you know, being too tongue in cheek and all that kind of stuff. We absolutely do this to try to lighten at least a couple of minutes of your day. Somebody just said David needs to drink if he's married to Melissa. I think that was the point he was trying desperately to make. Um, so anyway, so, uh, extinction. <laughs> it, yes, I'm going to talk. Yes, I'm oh. going to talk about that on streamer though. We watched Extinction with Chris Hemsworth. Do you like to see people die by bullet fire? Because if so, there's your movie. It was good. It was really good. Did you ha did you keep a body count? Did you keep a body count? Oh, it was high. It was I high. did. It was like 487. Um, we also, I'm not even going to tell you who, but we watched a great uh, special on Netflix, a stand-up comedian. Really, I'm going to talk about it on streamer. Really I've, I, you know, I've never done, I've never done a streamer episode on a stand-up, but I'm going to do one on this. It was really, really good, and the whole family can watch it. What in the world? I mean, has that ever happened? Like the whole family can watch it, so we're really excited about that. Um, you gotta go all the way back to Sinbad. Yeah, really. But but the other thing was this morning when I turned on the news, you guys, as if we can take another dadgum thing. We turned on the news, and the headline was about COVID, of course, and the murder hornets. The murder hornets. Have y'all heard about this? Mm -mm. Okay, I haven't got to watch the entire the entire news report on it. I'm simply going by. Uh, an article that I read, but apparently there is an influx of hornets that are coming into America. I don't know what region, but they're coming in and they are called murder hornets. They are really, really large and they wipe out other bees and stuff like that that really are pretty harmless. And the Today Show was showing clips of what they do to other, to other insects. It was horrible. They cook them alive is one of the things it said. How they do that, I don't know. They I'm thinking cook, of like they, like, they don't have any opposable thumbs. How would they cook? <laughs> Throwing it up in a skillet. I don't know. Um, so what is it? Melinda Kelly, Heather McFarland, uh, Lori Boyd. They're really, really large. And they, they are two inches long. Oh, God. Now I'm going to start getting all the... I'm gonna, everything that touches me, I'm going to think is a murder hornet. I'm afraid oh. our school mascot is the hornet, the Hudson Hornets. What mm. if they think this is like their mm -hmm. headquarters and they're all headed here? I know. David, what do we, it said that they need to be wiped out, like, instantly. Okay? I don't know what you're going to do if one ever gets in our house. It takes you 87 minutes to get up. I can say, you know what? Oh, Washington State? Oh, we're good then. Um, I can say, David, there's a spider on the floor. And this is exactly what he does. And that's slow. He gets out of a chair. Goes and finds a shoe. Got to look around for what kind of shoe it should be. Maybe not a dress shoe. Perhaps a, you know, if you can find one, a rock. I'm like, David, the spider is moving. It is moving fastly across the floor. What Finally, he waddles back in there. Because number one, the, I mean, no, I don't like spiders. But it's not such a traumatic, It, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to get it. They bite the heads off of bees. Um, oh. Huh. They decapitate their prey. Goodness. Oh, my God. This is it. Y'all, this is the end of the world. Don't we know it? 
Don't we know it? Oh, God, you're coming to get us, but you're doing it by way of COVID and hornets. This was never part of the plan. We've got to read Revelation, y'all. We've got to read it. Oh, God. Maybe the killer hornets are in there. <laughs> it was supposed to look different. It was supposed to look different than this. I didn't want to die like that. I didn't want to go to the end of the world to go down in a herd of bees that wasp that decapitate their... You know what? They're hornets. They're we hornets. need to side with the bees. We need to side oh, with the bees. Oh, God. And Kim Jong-un is still alive. Oh, God. He is I've alive. I've never seen such bleak days. He is alive? Yes. If we really Last week, I was like... fixing my hair, and I was like, God, how dare I ask this, but could you maybe possibly kill him? He just seems dangerous to me. Oh, what in the world is going on? <laughs> oh, okay. So glad y'all are, oh, first time catching you live. Uh, and here this, I am like, oh, this, of the world. Uh, who is that? April. April, she'll never be back. April, this is not a normal it is. rant. Yes, it is. You have never had a rant at the end of the, at the end of the. That the end of the world was near? World. I'm sorry, David. Perhaps it's because some of our loyal followers have gotten the COVID. And there's two-inch hornets that are biting the heads off of things. Hey, in lighter news, did you hear about the guy that got arrested at Disney World? Disney World is closed, babe. Exactly. But you know they have the, <laughs> uh, the like, uh, what is it, like the tropical island or whatever? Yeah. He was caught camping out there and they arrested him and he and they said you're we're arresting you for trespass he goes i didn't know i was trespassing i just thought this was a paradise <laughs> but he was arrested are you kidding me no huh he was camping out on was it somebody you went to high school with that sounds exactly like all the guys no, you hung out with i heard bob goff talk about it so you know it's true so you know it's true um i don't believe kim jong-un is really alive well he cut a ribbon he was at a ribbon cutting, and may I ask, who would dress up like him? <laughs> Have you asked yourself that question, Amy? Who would dress up? Like, what person is like going, anybody here want to dress up like Kim Jong-un? And somebody's like, I will. I, I mean, I look pretty close. No, nobody would. Um, okay. <clears throat> That's, I'm sorry. Paradise Island. Paradise Island. It makes more sense when you say it was Paradise Island. That didn't make sorry, any sense. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Because when you said it, I thought to myself, well, I think Disney's Paradise too. Can I go? Okay. <clears throat> he had also had to go through two gates. What in the world? And he's banned from all the parks forever? Now, that seems a little extreme, Disney. Okay. I got to go, y'all. I got to go round up my kids, make sure they know Jesus. <laughs> I gotta make sure. They, I feel like certainly. They oh my goodness! This is the end of. The, it's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. Cause these hornets are two inches long. What if they get stuck in our thong? <clears throat> oh, I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> Sign off, David. Sign us off. We here. can't stop. We can't stop. Okay, thank you guys did, for watching. Is there anything else we did this week? There's weekend? literally nothing else. Literally nothing. Last night we ate, <clears throat> we reheated leftovers and sat in our pajamas and watched The Last Dance. That's all we've done this weekend. Again, if you've not watched it, there's six episodes down and four to go. Amazing. Amazing documentary. Mm hmm. It really is. It's so good. The other thing that I personally did was go to Home Depot, Lowe's, or Sam's. I actually had to 75 ask 75 times. I actually this said, David, tell me the truth. Are you cheating on me with somebody at Home Depot? <laughs> tell me the truth. I want to know his name. What's his name? Um, not that women can't work there, uh, but that's how many times he went. Are you seeing somebody? Is it their apron? Is it those little orange aprons that get aprons. you every time? <clears throat> or is it their paint sticks? Oh. <laughs> Um, he went so many times. Okay, Jordan, get off of here. Log yourself out. Log yourself out. Okay? No putting up bees and hornets. Um, everybody's saying they love The Last Dance. Um, yes, absolutely love it. It's really it's really very, very good. Uh, they do keep going back and forth in time, and I have to keep asking David questions. And he's like, do you not know how this turns out? You don't know how the championship game turns out? 
I'm sorry, it was my first year at college. I'm pretty sure I was all up wrapped up in my Umbro shorts and my, you know, and my other pair of Umbro shorts. <laughs> I don't remember what I don't remember what we were and wearing. My, uh, in the 90s. Choose, what was it? Choose life. What was it? <laughs> Choose life. No, what was it? Frankie say relax. Maybe that's something Frankie say relax. I mean, I was, I was, okay. It was the 90s. I was wrapped up in Umbro shorts and Melrose Place. That's essentially all I remember from like 1993. So, um, all right. Hey, we thank y'all for watching. Uh, remember to share Rising Red Key every uh, weekday. Y'all share it. You know what we should do? We should give away a, a, a gift to every 50th person that shares. <clears throat> Then we would get like a hundred shares until they realized we didn't really send a gift card. What is the, uh, what's the gift going to be? That's probably a hair. What are you doing? No, it's not. It's, it's part of a hornet. It's the stinger. My question right now to Melissa, is your hair naturally curly? Nope. Mm -mm. It's not. I've, I'm, I'm learning out a secret. I'm learning a secret right now. I'm trying out some two new products on my hair. I did it on Friday as well. And um, I always like to test what I'm doing several times and then I'll tell y'all about it. So I'm not gonna tell you just yet. So when I But it might you, be good. It might I, be good. So you said you're testing new products. Yeah. And the other day when I walked in and saw you using something, I said, would you pick that up today? No, I've had I've had this. I'll lie to your face. I'll lie to your face. Um, <laughs> no, I'm testing out two new products, and so far it's going really well. But I don't ever want to tell you guys about them until I can do a really good review of them. So here you go. Uh, the last couple of days we have done. Oh, a Carly Jones is a picture post. We've done a pose that way, especially for Instagram. You can take a screenshot and post it that way to to share. So are we ready for a pose. Mm, trying to think of what it could be. I'm gonna roar. Here we go. Ready? You gonna what? <clears throat> okay, ready? One, two, three. You were supposed to do it with me, fool. It's much funnier if I just look at you like you're a nut. <laughs> All right. Uh, love you guys so much. Have a wonderful Monday, and we will see you back here tomorrow, same time, same place. Yeah, maybe outside. I can't help that he's got allergies. Not my problem. Okay? People are like, poor David having to sit outside with his allergies. Okay, remember. Sicka, 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 slim shady. Not slim. Kind of shady. All right. Bye, y'all. Have a great day. <clears throat>